it's National Small Business Week, and of course, small business owners are the lifeblood of the U.S. economy. For more, I'm joined now on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange by Allison Bennett, the CMO of Chase for Business. Also, Gregory Zamfotis joins me. He's the founder of Gregory's Coffee. So, Allison, let me start with you. Small business owners are so important. They provide two-thirds of the jobs out there. What is Chase doing to help small business owners? Uh, well, we could start with what we're doing today, um, which is uh, ringing the bell, which is a campaign we'll talk about in a minute. But what we do um, 365 days a year is far more important. Um, we, uh, we fund their dreams. We help them grow. We help them think about ways to expand. Um, you probably know that we're a national brand. So we do, um, we do serve 4 million small businesses across the country. And, um, we have a team of people who look after them and help them and make sure that they achieve what they aspire to do. And Gregory, you're a small business owner as the owner of coffee shops throughout New York City. You have your ear to the floor when it comes to the consumer. How is the consumer doing in your view? I think things are great. People are happy. Um, I, I feel like on a day-to-day -day basis we have plenty of interactions with amazing people that come into our shops and I feel like people are happy and excited to be out and working these days. And Allison, I'll ask you the same question. I mean, you must talk to small business owners all the time. What do they say about how their business is doing? Um, we actually produced a business leader outlook survey and um, spirits are high, optimism is, is stronger than it's ever been. Uh, I think there is a, um, a strong push towards growth and we're seeing it in uh, the performance of the, their businesses and our business as a result. Now Gregory, you, open, you opened up your first coffee shop back in 2006. You now have 17 locations and I'm sure it was a struggle in the beginning. What would you say to small business owners who are just starting out? I think the most important thing to do is be confident in yourself and your product and if you know the customer you're trying to reach and uh, really paying attention to what your customers are asking for, uh, if you can deliver on that you'll be successful and that's what we've been doing all along is just listening to our guests and focusing on de delivering the best product we possibly can to them and that's why we have 17 stores now is because I continue to do that on a day-to-day -day basis. And Allison, Chase has doled out $19 billion of new credit for small business owners in each of the last four years. Is that a pace you expect to continue? Can you tell us what the environment looks like for small business owners in need of capital? Um, I believe it's a pace we will continue to um, accelerate. We are in a, um, a really bullish mode, uh, as I say on the stock exchange floor, about small business. And we believe that, especially in partnership with the SBA, we can support businesses in many, many ways. So um, yes, we expect it to continue. And Gregory, I'll end on this. How do you compete with the likes of Starbucks and really try to lure people to come to the small business coffee shop instead of the big corporate behemoth? I think you know people look for options, and they like having variety, and Gregory's we, that's what we stand for is just giving guests what they want and you know Starbucks serves a purpose we serve our own purpose and our purpose is delivering the most value we can to our guests and that's great product great service and great experience and customers really appreciate that and as a New Yorker I know what New Yorkers want uh, I think <laughs> and uh, I deliver on a great New York experience to any, anybody that comes into one of my coffee shops. All right Gregory and Allison thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Scott Gam for The Street.